Stock trading halts explain. That'll be the topic for this video, and I wanna offer it up as a big warning to you day traders out there, especially if you're a beginner just getting started in the stock market that you need to be made aware of these situations because they are very risky and they can be very, very painful. I'm not gonna be talking in theory. I'm gonna make a couple of general comments, but then I wanna show you how this works with a, a real life example, and then also be able to show you something in real time. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do offer a playlist where I record myself day trading live. And recently, I, I, I caught one of these trading halts on video and how, you know, spoiler alert, it ended up biting me, and it is what it is, but it also illustrates why these situations can be very, very risky. So let's just make a couple quick broad statements here because I see it a lot on social media um, with, I'm assuming beginners, and they don't quite understand, and I understand why they would think that they are. But first off, trading halts are not through your broker. It's not that your broker is halting a stock. It, your broker has nothing to do with it. It is a government regulation. So just like the pattern day trading rule is a government regulation and it applies to all brokers, same with trading halts. If a trading halt happens in a stock, there is not any broker out there that, okay, well, but it's still trading on that broker. No, it's not trading on any broker because again, it's a blanket government regulation that'll spread across all brokers. Like I said, just as the pattern day trading rule uh, does. Also, why does it exist? Well, at the core, because the government says, you know what, that stock, that situation is too crazy. We need to halt. We need to stop the trading of that stock and just let everybody kind of calm down, you know, just kind of take a breath. And while, and I, I respect if you want to disagree with me on this next point. Well, I, I'll admit, I think the motivation, I, I think the intent is in good nature. I think the government truly is just, you know, let's try to help people out. It's just one of those things where, you know, the kind of the road to pain is you know, paved with bad in, or with good intentions. And that's one of these situations here. But like I said, that's why the regulation exists. Government just says things are getting way too crazy, uh, but it ultimately, you know, uh, in, in many situations can lead to a lot of pain. So let's look at this first example here and you'll see hopefully what I mean. But to set up some context here, this stock was trading, had dropped quite a bit. And then, you know, the drop or the stock drops more. So for example's sake, let's just say, you know what? And I should note, these are candlesticks for those of you that are maybe new to charts, but the price drops more. And let's just say for whatever reason, you're like, you know what? I want to buy this pullback. I want to, you know, buy the dip. I think this is a good opportunity. So you buy right there at 122. So that low right there was 122. And you're like, yeah, all right. I, I just nailed the bottom there. Got in at 122 at, at that candle. But the stock at that point halted. It stopped trading. So you have now bought, you are in, you own shares at 122, but everything has stopped trading. But, and the tricky part is, and, and this is a situation where if the stock price actually opened up right where it halted, then I, I, I wouldn't have any arguments. I, I, maybe it, it still wouldn't be as smooth as it could be, but at, at least from a quote unquote fairness standpoint, it would still be fair for everybody because the price opened up, you know, right where they stopped trading it. But that's not, that, and that's the big, that's the big warning is that's not how it actually works. The stock can open up who knows where. Now to be fair, yeah, sometimes it can work out in your favor, but other times as you're about to see, it can work out severely against you. Because again, I wanna just really reiterate this. this. If the stock drops and all of a sudden, okay, it stops trading at 122. If at least when it opened back up, it was still at 122, all right, th then I would, I would say that these situations are not really that risky, but that, that's not how it works. That's the crazy part is after it stops right here, so when it comes down here and stops, you know, as far as where it opens, a big old question mark. And this big old question mark is what brings about the nature of the very risky situation. So here, let's look, okay, stop trading. Now we're at the question mark. Where did it open up? All the way down there, that stock opened up at 110. So literally, in the blink of an eye, the people that bought at 122, they're now down $12 per share. Just like that, poof, gone. And, and there's nothing that they could have done about, about it. I mean, they bought, stopped trading, right, so that they, they can't sell at that point, they can't do anything. But then at their next opportunity to sell if they wanted to, they could have sold all the way down there at 110. And just uh, show the rest of this, so same thing right there, right? Let's say that somebody bought and let's see that low was at 99. So right there, 99, the low right there. The stock, the stock stops trading. So we once again have that big question mark of, okay, well, where is it gonna actually start to trade again? At what price? 
it started to trade all the way down there at, let's see, open of 90. So in this situation, those people down $9 per share, just like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, to think, I, I get it, like I said, maybe you disagree, but I, to have good intent. Well, we're, we're trying to help people out. We don't want people to get caught up. Yeah, but you know, government, you're, the, the people are literally being screwed out of all those gains because they can't sell. And then when they do have the opportunity to sell, they've already lost. In, in the first situation, you know, the $12 per share. Next situation, $9 per share. That's absolutely crazy. So now let's take a look at this how and how it plays out in the real world of trading. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I do have a playlist of me trading live, and this is a, a little segment from that. So what I want you to watch is a couple situations. You can watch that if you want, and you'll see that that green bar right there, the candlestick, starts to get even greener, even greener, and it'll start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But the main dynamic here is watch over here because this is where the trading halt is actually going to take place, is over in this situation of the window right there, because that is what's known as level twos, and that's where you know the trading halts and, and where things happen. But like I said, first thing to keep an eye on will be that green candle. Watch it, it'll start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then as you're watching that, just keep glancing back and forth over here, and you'll notice all of a sudden the stock will just completely stop trading. So let's get this plane here. So you can see it's just bouncing around a little bit. And now look at it, see how it's getting big, 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 big. Watch over in the window, watch over in the window. And then, whoops, keep watching, keep watching in that window. Keep watching that window right there. Do you see how things change? All those numbers just disappeared. Gone, gone. And now we have, you know, it just looks goofy, right? Zero, and then over here you have some sort of massive number. The stock here is now halted. There, there's, there's nothing I can do anymore about it. Now I did do some things, uh, which is a whole nother video topic, but the idea here is you just saw it happen. The stock was starting to go in my favor, fantastic, all right, it's going in my favor, I'm making money. And then, because again of the government regulation, the stock just stopped trading. Now to, to show you know why this is just annoying, painful, is as of right now, you know I had closed over $500 in profits, however, I still had $500 in open profits. Meaning at this point in time, I was up. So the way this works is you would just add these two numbers together. So 500 plus 535 is $1,035, right? So keep that in mind. At that moment in time, when the stock was running and moving and moving, I was up $1,035. Again, spoiler, it's not gonna end up that way. So after right around, I think it was about 10 minutes, the stock started to trade again. But what I want you to now watch is gonna be that area down there. Because again, that, that's what I still have open. Open meaning, like I said, it, it, could, it could grow and get that much bigger because it's open. It, it's still, you know, it's open to grow. But th that's a two-sided coin because it's open to also potentially shrink back down. So keep an eye on that as the stock, and once again, you'll notice this all of a sudden lights back up. And you'll notice that uh, it's, it's not where it was, right? It actually opens up a bit lower than where the price was. But like I said, at the core, the number to watch down there is right there. And you can also watch this if you want, uh, the chart, like I said, to, to really kind of see how things worked from a, a practical, okay, how much money's going in your pocket, coming in your, uh, you know, in your pocket, all that. Uh, you know, that'll be the number to watch down around that area. So let's get things plain. So notice how it just dropped that fast. Now it's dropping, dropping, dropping. Look at that. Remember that number is at $500. So I'll pause it right there. And now take a look at where the situation is now. I ultimately only made $692 on it. Now don't get me wrong. That, that's great, I'm happy with that. Um, but the, the, the point here is I was up a whole lot more and I, w I was looking like I was gonna make even more than that because the stock was going in my favor, going in my favor, and then it just halted and then it completely went back down. So you look over here 
And yeah, the stock just stopped going up and started to come right back down, which took me from the $1,035 to now, quote unquote, only making $692. And there's zero doubt in my mind that if that halt rule, if that regulation didn't exist, that thing would have kept running and I would have made, I'm not gonna say like tens of thousands of dollars, but I would have certainly made more than that 10,000 or than that 1,035. And I certainly would have made more than $692. But the halt wiped everything away and ultimately bit me because those final, that, you know, that open that was out there, I, I lost money on it because I, that was 500. So I lost a good, let's call it $350 on that. And like I said, and that, that's, this is a good, good situation. Why is my voice cracking? Hey mom, why am I getting hair under my armpits? Anyways, this is a situation where it, I still walked out ahead at least, but as you saw with the, the, the first stock I showed you, that was a situation where there, there, there was nothing left for those people. It was just, yeah, sorry, you're down $12 per share. Yeah, sorry, you're down $9 per share, just like that. So in, in many senses, I'm grateful about how this turned around or turned out for me, but it still does illustrate how, I mean, to me, it's just uh, good intentions, but from a real world practical application, it, it's just not helping anybody. It's just putting people in very, uh, you know, bad situations for, like I said, that example, or in this situation, just, uh, I mean, I, I was up and then just like that, the money just disappeared. So that is, you know, how trading halts work. Again, government regulation has nothing to do with your broker and why I would say you need to be warned of them. Sure, they can work out in your favor sometimes where the stock all of a sudden opens up way more in your favor, but that is a, a two-sided coin because at other times, as you saw, it, it can be a very bad situation. So if you have any other questions on halts or how they work or you know that, leave those down in the comment section below. Uh, but I pretty much address everything I can think of uh, in terms of uh, you know the why do they exist, uh, you know the, where do they come from? Again, not coming from your broker, coming from the government. Uh, but anything else, definitely leave those down in the comment section below. And I don't know if if a government official watches this, then please consider that maybe trading halts. While I'll, I'll admit, maybe your your intent is good, your intent is noble. Um, from a real world practication, uh, uh, you know, or application, excuse me. As you see here, it's just, it can be a very, very bad situation uh, for day traders, especially those who you're probably trying to protect most, the people that are beginners, the people that are just getting started in the stock market. Those are the people that usually, uh, who you're trying to protect, ultimately get hit in the face with a sledgehammer with these. So yes, if any sort of government, you know, official happens to watch this, please just consider uh, maybe re re revisiting um, this regulation that you have out there. And definitely also, please, please revisit, please can reconsider the pattern day trading rule but that's a whole nother video. So anyways, for all of you other non-government officials, um, thank you for, well, also thank you to the government officials for uh, watching, but to all of you, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Check out the channel as a whole, and if you like what you see, then hopefully you decide to hit that subscribe button. Everybody take care. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.